Hey friend, in this video I'm going to be doing a quick review of the Camvate Universal DSLR mirrorless video cage. Uh, on Amazon you can find it right here. I'm going to tell you why I think this cage is awesome. I think for a lot of people it's kind of a perfect fit, but for me it's not exactly what I'm looking for and I'm going to be trying something else. Uh, let me just tell you first really what it is. Um, by universal cage, what they mean is that it comes with two short adapters for the lengthening rods here. And so that way you can make it really short and fit in even the tiniest of cameras, probably like the RX100 and cameras like that, the G7 series from Canon. Uh, that's with these short adapters. But I have on the long adapters and it fits my X-T3 with the Mikey grip attached and a quick release system. So I'll show you that in just a second. But that's the first part of it that makes it universal is these adjustable length rods. Then another part is that down here you can see that there are uh, screws that change the width of the plate, how far it is from the lengthening rods, how far out it extends, and the same with the top cheese plate. Uh, also, the top cheese plate, you can't see this, but uh, the top cheese plate will have two little screws that go into the cold shoe or the hot shoe on the top of the camera, and that will really tighten it down. I haven't ever felt that it's loose enough, um, but if you want the extra security, you can screw those into the hot shoe and really make the camera secure, but that would be kind of against my whole system here and I'll show you why in just a second. Um, what I was looking for with the X-T3 was to have the Ninja 5 attached, a battery power bank attached, and the Rode mic attached. This right here is my ideal rig. This is mostly what I need for filmmaking on any given day. I shoot mostly weddings and I travel a lot for them which is a big part of why this hasn't ended up being the system that will work for me. But all that said, it's a really great cage and I love the quality of the side handle and the top handle. The wood looks pretty great. I have big hands and I feel pretty confident holding this side handle. Uh, it could be a little bigger, but I'm honestly not worried about that. Uh, and the screws here are well machined in my opinion, but uh, I did rev read reviews about it being loose. I haven't experienced that. There's a tiny play in it, but not much. However, if you screw one of these into an area that already has a uh, screw going through it on the lengthening rods, either on the top or on the bottom, then you will find that it has a ton of play and you can seriously shake it until it comes right out. So just make sure that you've got it plugged into the right spots and that you're not interfering with two screws like that are bumping up against one another. Um, yeah, I love that it's got a cold shoe attachment here on the top left. That's where I put my battery um, holder. And um, yeah, it just all around, it's a clean setup. It's an awesome cage. But the reason it's not going to work for me is because it just is a little too bulky. And that's coming from someone who doesn't rig cameras. I don't, I don't set up cages all the time. I don't set up rigs. This is really my first one. And I'm doing a review kind of ongoing right now about my final destination for the X-T3 rig. Uh, because I would love to have this setup right here in a small package. Um, what's really attractive about this, and my mic may fall off here, but What's really attractive about this specific cage and setup is that it's universal, so I can take the X-T3 right out after I take off the connections. I've got it on a hot shoe inside of the cage. So now the X-T3 is out, I can shoot stills with it, and it has a hot shoe attached so I can go on a gimbal, I can attach a monopod or whatever I need, a glide cam, um, or I can just shoot stills and it's got the Mikey grip on as well. So this is awesome uh, for that feature. I really love that you can make it a uh, video and stills setup really quickly with that. 
And then all you have to do is plug everything back in, which doesn't take too long at all. And then you're shooting 4K 60, 10-bit 422 once again with your X-T3. So yeah, it's kind of an amazing setup. Um, I really love it, but it's just a little too big for what I'm looking for. So it's not gonna be the best for me. Um, if this setup here looks great for you, then it's perfect because you can, I've got another hot shoe attached on the bottom. So you can take the camera, there goes the mic. You can take the camera out and be shooting handheld. You can grab from the top handle and just walk around or get a low shot if you're looking for that. Um, it's really amazing this setup because the hot shoe on the bottom and the camera being locked in via hot shoe means you can take it out, shoot stills. You can take the camera off of the tripod and just um, go with run and gun. But for me, trying to get this camera in and out of cars, in and out of the trunk, uh, riding on my lap through Yosemite or whatever this last week, it's just too big. And so I'm gonna have to find something that works for me that's a little bit smaller. Um, but anyway, the Canvate Universal Cage is really good quality. I appreciate the build and the design and the forethought that they took um, in most everything. Um, so yeah, for 100 bucks or 115 bucks or whatever it is right now, I would definitely advise that you get this if you're looking for this sort of a cage system or a rig. Anyway, that's it right now. Um, another of the perks, I guess, is that you can fit any camera in. So I've got the X-T30 and the X-T3, and I could right now just swap the X-T30 right into this. Um, but yeah, anyway, that's it now. Uh, I love this. It doesn't tie you down to one camera specifically, and if you shoot with multiple cameras, you know how big of a benefit that is. But for me, I'm gonna look for something a little bit smaller in my permanent rig. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it helpful. If you have any questions, feel free to leave them in the comments below and I'll get to them as soon as I can. Uh, yeah, in the meantime, I'm going to keep searching for the perfect setup for the X-T3 rig. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.